Just to talk about hot water as well, the heat pump will also produce the hot water for the house. The way it does that, because hot water is the uh, is a higher temperature normally than we have flowing in the radiator, so it will switch off the central heating and divert all its energy to getting the water really hot. In that time, it uses a bit more electricity because it's running inefficiently, but it will just run hard, get the hot water heated up and then go back to heating again as quickly as possible. So, so rather than doing the two at the same time, it will do one or the other and that's just to make sure that it's efficient as possible. And if you've got solar in installed on the property, what we'll do is configure the heat pump to generate the hot water during the, the middle of the day when we know the solar will be generating its maximum peak and that uses the most um, amount of your solar energy to generate hot water as, as possible. All the hot water is drinkable so we also put in there a setting to um, call a periodic increase where every day it will bring the hot water temporarily up to 65 degrees to kill any legionella and bacteria in there and allow it to settle down to its, its normal working temperature again. So if there's any other nagging questions about heat pumps that you've always wanted to know, please drop a comment or a question into the comments box below and we might even make another video about it. Thank you.